Liverpool to Portsmouth, yeah, that chorus got the crowd screaming. Welcome back, folks. Um, video number two. Um, I just thought I'd run you. Sorry for saying I'm all the time. Just it's just me. Anyway, just run through a few things I bought this week, and then I'll take you down to the computer and show you a few things I sold this week. So we'll start with my favourite one. It's this fella here. Paid three dollars for this, and I just think, being an '80s child, I suppose, um, it was awesome. I really, really like that. I don't know that there's a great deal of value to it, but um, I love it. But all the space shuttles, all their missions. Yep. All right, moving on to next. All right, next up, we have this, which pains me to even have in my house. But for a dollar, I should be able to flip that for 20. It's a kid's um, replica NRL Sydney Roosters jersey. That, absolutely flawless, one dollar. And these, I really like these. There's not a lot of value to them. I reckon I'd probably squeeze about 25 bucks out of them. But I paid 50 cents each. And they're all um, video easy fridge magnets. With little movies on them. So they were pretty cool. And these are Tupperware lids with a magnet, fridge magnet, obviously. Um, I can't even find them online, so I don't know. <laughs> no idea. But they, again, they were two uh, dollars. Sorry, fifty cents each. So all that lot there for four bucks. Then moving over here, I'm getting in the right of my light, so we're going to have a shadow here. But there's this shirt here, Marmot. Now I saw somebody else say in one of their videos to watch out for that. I haven't researched it. I don't know what it's worth. But it was find the tag. There it is. It was four dollars fifty, and everything with the squiggly blue line was half price, so two dollars twenty-five. Had to have a bash of it for that. Nextly, I've sold a few of these before. Little Canon, um, they call them electronic organisers. Um, yeah, I paid three dollars for that, and I should be able to get twenty-five for it. I think that's what I've got for them in the past. Oh, looking over this side here, these are. <laughs> no comment but they're brand new they're crocs i've already cleaned the marker pin off them which was about there they were five dollars you can see they're genuine crocs somebody will want them i've, I've done pretty well selling crocs before and then lastly was this fella um, john lennon box set Four, um, four CDs and a, a little book there. I'll just drag the book out and give you a quick look at that. Yep, you get the idea. Anyway, five dollars at pennies for that one. Um, surely I've got to make money on that, hey? Somebody's got to want that. Um, so that's it for finds this week um, like I said before I, I don't do this permanent full time it's just a, a side hustle and um, yeah look I might get to one or two thrift shops a week so this week it was only one that's what I found so pretty sweet pretty happy with that there's you know I don't know what this is worth but say you know each shirt's worth 20 bucks each and I've paid five six six dollars twenty five you know, and then the Crocs, I reckon, probably get 30 for those plus shipping. So, um, the the um, CDs, I've got no idea. Like I said, probably 25 for that, another 25 for the magnets. So, you know, quick hundred bucks for very little outlay. Alrighty, I'll, um, yeah, we'll go and turn the computer and have a look at what's sold. Alright, just before I go and show you what I. Um, sold on a computer. I just want to, there's a few other things here I found that I haven't actually listed yet and probably won't this weekend but anyway this fella here I don't know whether there's any 90s kids out there but this was hot back in the 90s it's um, Dada Supreme and it's got a big gaudy logo on it and on the back Supreme across the top of the back there 
ugliest thing you'll ever see and it's got a burn hole there it looks like a burn anyway so decreases the value a lot but um, a good example goes for about 50 a good used example it is and um, something of that caliber I reckon I could still get 20 to 25 and I paid three for it so yeah is what it is nextly I don't know much about this but um, it's a golfing brand it's called woodworm and that's a, a woodworm polo shirt obviously with the little embroidered woodworm on him and that's in nice nick like it's never been worn that fella so I don't know I have to research that this I'll probably keep for myself because it's the trouble with thrift shopping for resale there's just so much cool stuff out there and that one there it's a old Larry Perkins Russell Ingle um, Castrol Racing Holden um, putty it's got a big Castrol Racing across the back of it there and it's just in really good nick and I got that for two bucks so score I don't know what it's worth but it's not going up for sale this fella here I paid five for I think still that no, doesn't have the tag on it but it's an Oakley polo as you can see it's got the Oakley crest there it's basically in brand new condition I doubt it's ever been worn genuine Oakley double XL and then it has the spell out on the back there too on the back shoulder so that's a very cool shirt in the past typically about 30 bucks plus postage for Oakley stuff so yeah that's cool happy with that all right let's go have a look what's sold righty here's the stuff that sold this week I'll just run through them on the computer here I'll just show you um, the eBay listing what it was what it sold for so this was a Shimano shirt and it was that polyester type material that's um, you know breathable and all that sort of stuff like a sports athletics type shirt um, had this really cool they call sepia print on there and um, this I didn't get much for only a $10 shirt $8.55 shipping on top of that um, I'll let you know if I, you know this is what they sold for I took offers there's a couple here that I took offers on and so forth so We'll just flick through these. So that was the first one. This one here was pretty cool. Um, it's a genuine Mercedes Benz keyring. German. You can see the hologram logo there. Doesn't come out real flash in the photos, but that's pretty sweet little keyring that. And um, I paid a dollar for that and sold it for twenty plus six dollars twenty. I sent it registered post that one because it was thin enough to go in a, a registered post envelope. So that was pretty cool. All right, these um, I had listed for 45. This guy sent me an offer for 35, so I took that offer. Um, the King G um, shoes, what they got like a, they're not steel cap, but they're you know the the safety cap, as they call them, that, um, and they you know all breathable mesh around the sides and stuff like that. These are brand new. I picked them up at a thrift shop for five dollars that's from animal welfare league that these ones come from i remember it well because um, i thought it was a pretty good pickup and it was so i got uh, 35 plus 1380 shipping on top next this is a really cool shirt and i'm really surprised this took so long um i had it up like to buy this shirt it's over a hundred dollars new so i had it up and i think it had 45 dollars on it like forever like I'm talking three or four months and then I dropped it $34.95 and it's another couple of months nothing and um, and then someone sent me through an offer the other day for $25 plus shipping and I took it just to get rid of it I paid five for it so I didn't lose money on it but it's just such a cool graphic shirt all this it says long live cowboys down the sleeve there it's all embroidered and it's got the Wrangler logo on the cuffs this fancy stitching over the the collars here and then the Wrangler logo and all the buttons are pearl snap buttons just a really really nice shirt and um, the person who bought it she had 
cowgirl or something in her eBay username, so I thought at least it's going to a good home. I was happy with that. Um, next, oh, yeah, I, I find these quite often. Um, these sell really well too, like um, translators and, and that type of thing. Look, you can usually pick them up for $2 or so at thrift shops. Um, yeah, whenever I see them, I grab them because as long as they work, you can see there, I got twenty-eight fifty-five for my two dollars there, and that shipped um, registered post, so it cost me six dollars twenty, I think, in a registered post envelope, and um, yeah, because it's only you know five mil thick or whatever, so it can go through as a large letter. Next, this was a awesome, awesome flip. This genuine Apple wireless mouse and wired keyboard. I've already got positive feedback for that one. The guy was super happy. Um, I paid seven dollars, <coughs> excuse me, for the pair of them at Salvos, and um, and I knew there was value in them. I didn't, um, I didn't even look them up at the time. I just, I just knew that the condition and everything. I mean, this thing, yeah, very, very good condition. Worked perfectly, and and basically zero cosmetic blemishes, blemishes on it. So very happy with that. And um, yeah, they sold for full price, 110 bucks plus twenty dollars postage. I sent it. Um, it's a thirteen eighty satchel with um, signature and delivery insurance, just to cap me off, just because of the value of it. Like I said in my last video, it's over a hundred hundred dollars. I'll always um, add a signature and delivery, and if it's viable insurance. So, yep, super cool. Happy with that sale. Next, I think I said in the last video, anything to do with dancing or anything like that seems to sell good for some reason. <coughs> Excuse me. This sold pretty quickly, probably two weeks. I don't know that it says when it was listed there. No, it doesn't. But um, this just sold this morning. It's, as you can see, there's four DVDs. Um, we got Salsa, Modern, Disco, and I don't know, I don't know whatever. Dancing DVDs anyway, so I paid four dollars for the set of four. There's normally at thrift shops, you know, so you're looking at a dollar for a DVD, and um, like I said, I normally steer clear of normal DVDs, but anything, especially interest or box sets or stuff like that, um, yeah, they sell well. So four into thirty plus eight fifty five shipping on top. This was one of those ones, this sat around for ages. I only paid $2 for it. It was new sealed box set. I just had to have it. The lady, when I bought it, I bought it at a, a flea market, this one. And the lady who bought it, uh, who sold it to me, um, her husband sold it to me, actually. And he said, yeah, they're all, all the DVDs are $2. And she spat the dummy at him and said, no, 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 that's my um, new sealed season of 24 and blah, blah, blah. And I said, look, look, if you want more for it, just let me know. She said, no, I'm actually a lawyer, so I know. you." I said, look, I don't mind, you know, seriously, I don't mind. It doesn't bother me. She said, no, $2 it is at $2. So I bought it for $2. Took a couple of months, but that's what I got for it. Factor in that it cost me $7.55 for post, postage in that too. So less than 10 bucks in it when it's all said and done. These were good flip. These were uh, five dollars. Their sketches go run. Um, very good condition. There was one one of the shoes. Oh, you can see it right there. There's a little stain there. Probably wash out, but I wasn't going to. But um, the soles. Let's see if we can see the soles. Yeah, you can see they've had no use. Maybe worn once. That mark there's on my computer screen. Just so you know. Um, and I had 45 on them. This guy came along and offered me 40, so I took it. And 8.55 postage on top. Very happy with that. This fella here, this is a beautiful jacket. Cambridge University, it's all embroidered. Um, yeah, it's genuine. You know, as you can see in the title, they're made in Scotland. It's got the um, Lyle and Scott. Scotland 100% pure lamb's wool by appointment to HH the Duke and Duke of Edinburgh manufacturers of knitwear blah 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 so it would have been quite an expensive little jumper in its day and I picked it up at a thrift shop it was a lifeline store 
and they had it marked at 20 and it was a half off day so I paid 10 for it and I thought yep that's going to be a good seller uh, no it took forever um, some guy who actually lived in the UK sent me an offer of $25 plus $30 shipping to the UK so I took it um, probably make 10, bu 10 bucks after all said and done but I'm just glad to be rid of it um, yeah so some things you know you think something as unique as that somebody had wanted it um, and pay decent money for them because if you look on their website these things brand new again over a hundred Australian dollars so anyway is what it is I've learnt I won't buy those again this was just a, a Nike t-shirt thing oh, crap photo anyway this is just a, a Nike t-shirt just a ten dollar shirt so I've got the dry fit logo down there and the Nike tag there Odd colours, I don't know what it is, or sports uniform or something like that, I guess. But anyway, um, I threw it up there for a ten dollars shirt, and somebody bought it for ten bucks plus eight fifty five shipping. So gone. All right, that's it, guys. That was my sales of the week. Um, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven sales last week, and you know, as you saw, one of them was over a hundred bucks. And um, yeah, yeah, some good stuff there. The shoes, I like selling shoes, especially when you can get them new like that. They sell really well. And also vans. I might have said that in my last video. Vans sell well for me. Um, the Converse, but Converse All Stars, they don't. Don't know why. They just don't. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Um, thanks for watching. And if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask. Happy to answer. Cheers, guys.